Welcome to the Electronic Visit Verification informational video for the Electronic Services Portal website, Approving Timesheets. For general assistance with the Electronic Services Portal website, please contact the IHSS Service Desk at 866-376-7066. Select your preferred language and then select the Electronic Services Portal option. To access the Electronic Services Portal website, please visit www.etimesheets.ihss.ca.gov. In this video, we will discuss how a recipient approves a timesheet using the Electronic Services Portal website. You will be notified once your provider has submitted an electronic timesheet for approval. You may be notified via email, like the one shown, that an electronically submitted timesheet is ready for your review and a link to approve the timesheet will be provided. Selecting the link will take you to the IHSS Electronic Services Portal website to log in. However, you can also log on to the IHSS Electronic Services Portal website at any time and approve timesheets submitted by your provider by visiting www.etimesheets.ihss.ca.gov. Once you are on the IHSS Electronic Services Portal website login screen, you will log in using your username and password, then select the Login button. It is important to note that if you enter your username or password incorrectly five times in a row, you will be locked out of your account. Please contact the IHSS Service Desk for assistance. If you are unable to remember your username or password while logging in, Select the Forgot Username or Password link to receive a password reset link. On the main landing page, there are a few different ways you can access the timesheets to review. One way is to select the Electronic Timesheets link on the top menu bar. And another way you can access your timesheets is to click on the Timesheet Review link. This will take you to the Provider Timesheets Provider Selection screen. Please note, the provider name you see listed on your screen is just for this example. Once you log into your account, you will see the names of your provider or providers listed on your home page. Once you are on the Provider Timesheets Provider Selection screen, you will be able to see all the providers who work for you. Please note that if you have more than one assigned provider, you will see them listed on this screen. In this example, you have one provider. Peggy Pine Tree, who has one timesheet to review. You can choose the timesheet to review for your provider by selecting the arrow on the right side of your screen. Another way to access your timesheets to review is when you are on the main landing page, under the list of your providers, you can see that a provider has one timesheet to review. To review the timesheet, click on the provider's name. After using any of the previously demonstrated ways to access the timesheets to review, you will be taken to the Provider Timesheet screen for the selected provider. Select the pay period and the timesheet type, either IHSS or WPCS, by using the drop-down box. You may review and approve or reject each timesheet by looking at the total timesheet hours or looking at the hours entered for each work week and each day individually. This option may assist you in reviewing the timesheet more thoroughly. In this example, you will be reviewing the timesheet by looking at the hours entered for each work week and each day individually. To do this, select the arrow to the corresponding work week you want to review. You have selected to review work week one. After expanding the work week, you can review the following information for each day during the work week. The hours worked, the start time, the end time, and the location submitted by your provider. Please note, if there were no hours worked for a day, then the start time, end time, and location will be left blank. You can see the work week total. This is a total of submitted hours worked for the work week you are reviewing. You can also see the timesheet total. This is a total of all submitted hours worked for the entire timesheet you are reviewing. 
you can review the remaining work weeks for this timesheet in a similar way by selecting the arrow with the corresponding work week. After reviewing or checking that all the hours entered on the timesheet are correct, you will need to select the Approve Timesheet button for timesheet approval. We will discuss the steps you will take if you need to reject your provider's timesheet later in this lesson. Once you select the Approve Timesheet button on the Provider Timesheets Timesheet Review screen, you will be taken to the Electronic Signature screen where you can electronically sign the timesheet. If you are not sure the hours submitted by your provider are true and correct, you may select the Cancel and Return to Timesheet button to double check the hours you are about to approve. If you are sure the hours submitted by your provider are correct, there are three very important steps to complete. First, you must read the declaration statement in which you indicate the hours are true and correct. Secondly, you must select the checkbox saying that you agree to the declaration terms. Finally, once you are sure the timesheet is true and correct, you may select the Electronically Sign Timesheet and Submit for Payment button. Once your electronic signature has been captured, you will see a pop-up that states, This timesheet has been submitted for processing. Then select OK. You will then be taken to the main landing page. Sometimes it is necessary to reject a timesheet that has incorrect hours recorded. Let's go back to the Provider Timesheets Timesheet Review screen. If, after reviewing the timesheet on this screen, you do not agree with the hours and or minutes submitted by your provider, you can select the Reject Timesheet button. If you reject your provider's timesheet, you will be taken to the Reject Electronic Timesheet screen. If you decide not to reject your provider's timesheet, you can select the Cancel and Return to Timesheet button which will take you back to the Provider Timesheets Timesheet Review screen. However, if you want to continue with rejecting the timesheet, you must select the Reject Timesheet button. Your provider will then be notified that their timesheet has been rejected. You will see a pop-up that states, Timesheet has been rejected. Select the OK button and you will be taken to the main landing page. Please note, if you reject the timesheet, you should work with your provider to fix the error so they can resubmit the timesheet for your approval. After approving or rejecting all of your provider's submitted timesheets, you will be taken to the main landing page. In this example, you have no other timesheets to review at this time. This concludes the Electronic Visit Verification informational video for the Electronic Services Portal website, Approving Timesheets. Please continue to view additional informational videos at the highlighted website address to learn more about the Electronic Services Portal website.